Today, my dude knows how to put pedal to the metal, handles gears with a Z, and wheels like a pro. <coughs> yeah. Has a name that sounds like it belongs on a star on Hollywood Boulevard. And to top it off, is pretty easy on the eye. It's South African motorsport champ, Gennaro Bonafidi. Yay! <laughs> what well an done. intro, well eh? I mean, those were the notes he gave you and you didn't cock it up once. Yeah, oh, brilliant. <laughs> hey. Gennaro was born in Joburg on the 18th of September 1990 and started racing at the age of five in a 50cc go-kart. He competed in two seasons of karting in the UK from 2000 and until 2002 and won many local championships in karting between 1995 and 2007. He finished fourth at the 2006 World Karting Championships in Italy and was awarded South African Protea Colours for motorsport in 2007. He then went on to represent South Africa at the European VW Polo Cup Championships in Germany in 2007 and was Rookie of the Year in the Engine VW Cup Championship in the same year. Gennaro finished second in the Engine VW Cup in 2008 and 2009 and signed for VW Motorsport in 2010 to race their Golf 5 GTI. He finished second in the Bridgestone Production Cars Class T Championship in 2010 and third in the Bridgestone Production Cars Class T Championship in 2011. Midway through 2012, he signed for Audi Motorsport to race their iconic Audi S4 in the Bridgestone Production Cars Class A Championship, where he currently races. He isn't just a machine in a car, but, is also, but also has many other talents. While at school, he was head of house, a prefect, was first team cricket captain, played hockey, athletics, football, and golf. Hockey? Someone Hockey's a great it. sport. Someone had to do it. Rugby, but. Yeah, I played that as well. Okay. Tons <laughs> of hockey. You, sub- <laughs> you are forgiven. You are forgiven. And was awarded sports honors in 2007 and 2008. He's currently studying engineering at the University of Pretoria, and today we are lucky enough to have him in studio with us. We welcome to Gears, Gennaro. Hello, Daisy. Hello. <laughs> Hello, Gennaro. It's double D's today. <laughs> Jeez, but quite forward, eh? Must be Italian. Oh, I'm blushing. <laughs> okay, Sash, you're going to get involved in this interview too. Not at all. This is your double D's. No, come on, you I'm are. planning my show with you. Oh, you want me to right? turn down the lights? <laughs> <laughs> okay, firstly, my first question is, how did you, um, how, firstly, how did the motorsport bug bite at such a young age? Well, I think, obviously, my dad was in motorsport for many, many years. And so, you know, I was thankfully, you know, given the opportunity when I was a lighty to go, to go into a go-kart. And, um, thanks. And, uh, and I th- think since then, you know, it's just, it's just in your system. And I think now that it's in my system, I'm in big trouble. Because I don't, know, don't think I'm ever going ever gonna, to, like, you know, get rid of it. So, I think as a, as a youngster, I was very fortunate to get involved, and um, it's something that I've, I'm thankful of my father for. You know, and a, and a great heritage of um, motorsport in the in the in the uh, Bonafidi family. I did read that your dad was he did rallying. Yeah, yeah. Or something. Ten, ten times South African rally champion. So, wow. Yeah, thirty years in rallying, and uh, yeah. Yeah, one of the greatest uh, rally combinations ever in South Africa. And also, we've got to say congratulations to uh, Gennaro. Last week uh, at the West Bank Super Series final round of the um, circuit, we had progressed up from Class T into Class A in the Audi and uh, won his first race. Well done, my man. Thanks very much, Sash. Yes, and the too. grueling third race of the uh, the weekend. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, for sure. Terrific the conditions, effort. The conditions are tricky out there, so we just put good use of the Quattro system in the Audi and um, took a victory from last place on the grid, so... Awesome. Oh. Stoked, 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 stoked. It's very impressive to see that you're studying and racing competitively at the same time. Are you finding it quite challenging or are you managing to balance both? Mm, it's been very tough over the last few years. I mean, you know, like a, a career in motorsport is not really feasible always. So you've got to have some sort of a plan, some sort of backup to make it, make it in life. And I'm trying to get my degree. I've been trying now for a few years and I'll carry on trying. So it's quite tough because, you know, both things take a lot of time in my life. And um, I think to... To, to succeed in both, you've got to just be focused and dedicated and you've got to do with what you've got in, you know, in the time that you have and, and that's all I, can, all I can do, really. Are you in your final year at Varsity? Uh, let's not go there. It's um, <laughs> a, f- a few years. Okay. So, well, <laughs> no worries. It's a very long degree. Mm. Yeah, that's mm. fine. As long as yeah. at the okay end of the that, day, if yeah. you have your degree, you have your degree. <laughs> yes. <laughs> what do you do in the off-season now? Uh, I don't actually know what I'm going to do for four months. I'm going to be bored to hell. Um, Maybe you have exams. to study. Yeah, no, I've got exams <laughs> coming up. <in> the, <laughs> yeah, I might have to be forced to do that. Uh, I've got exams coming in the next week, and then I'll be finished end of November, and then 
Take a nice little holiday, maybe go to Cape Town, soak up to some sun, beach. Tough life, eh? Tough life. Yeah, yeah. and then drive maybe, fancy cars in Cape Town. Yeah, well, hopefully. Hopefully, let's see what we can do. Yeah, so yeah we can organize. fancy life. While we're working, you'll be in Cape I'm Town. Sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah. yeah we have a great job, Sash. What we have to do. <laughs> It's unbelievable. Okay, being a rugby player involves a lot of time in the gym. As a motorsport athlete, you spend a lot of time in the gym. Yeah, um, yeah. Oh, not me. <laughs> no, we know Sash, you we know don't. You can see that. No, I do. I have to because you know, for racing, even though it's not so physical and you don't have to be as as strong, you have to be you have to be fit, and it con- takes a lot of concentration. And that I believe that a healthy body is a healthy mind. So. You know, if you can, I spend a lot of time in the gym. Um, I was actually this morning with Oscar Pistorius in the gym. We went had a power session, went some sauna, and you know, it's it's good just to just to release it as well. It's like a big stress reliever for me as well. So, I think that I mean, you look at the Formula One guys; they have some serious fitness that ranks up amongst any of the best athletes in the world. So, I think it is quite an important thing, and a lot of people out there don't realize it. A lot of racing drivers in South Africa, especially, don't. Don't pay attention to it at all. I mean, if you look mm. at the motocross guys, a lot of the superbike guys, they're always in the gym 24-7, cycling 150 k's a day. And, you know, it's something that, that gets missed, I think. Let's not mention the word cycling. <laughs> no, I'm sorry, sorry. <laughs> it's, not a, it's not a very popular word at the moment. No, but do you find that, do you do a lot of cardio? Because I know my brother is a professional golfer, and he finds if when he's fit and he's been doing a lot of cardio, his um, concentration is a lot better. Yeah, no, for sure. I think... Like I said, it's a long, you know, we race 30 minute races and it's a lot of the temperature inside the car gets very, very hot. So a lot of sweat, a lot of, you know, losing a lot of fluids. And I think if you can, if you can get past that and, and, and be fitter, then for sure your concentration is a lot better towards the end of the race. So I think that's where a lot of, you know, a lot of these drivers are, that I'm racing against are a lot older than me and maybe don't, you know, they'd rather look after their kids than go to gym. <laughs> so I think, you know, that's, that's something that, you know, I think hopefully can be to my advantage next year going into 2013. So. Okay, now motorsport aside, I read that you're a pretty good golfer. What are you playing off at the moment? Uh, my handicap says five. Wow. Um, I haven't <laughs> talented guy, this. <laughs> I must be honest, I haven't played for a while. Uh, you know, with times, times are, are obviously time is short. So, But I need to. This December now after exams, I think I'm going to start playing. I live, obviously, my parents live in Danefern, which is helpful for me. So I can just go and play, play not. Never been invited. Did you? Never you? been invited. Never been invited. Never been invited. Around it. Yeah, we, we think we should get be invited down. about time. Yeah. Uh, I agree. No, but you're one of the few racing drivers in this country that play golf. Yeah, I think so. I think a lot of the guys. Why does nobody else who races cars have that talent? I have no idea, Sash. I, <laughs> I, I, I Talk to all the guys. Guys, do you play golf? <laughs> 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 How's your golf, Sash? My right. golf's terrific. Sash is a machine on the golf course. Awesome, baby. I've okay, got the no. kit. I look the part. It's all about looking good these days. That's you know? it. I look good. Yeah, He's exactly. even got loudmouth golf pants. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. But very few um, racing drivers in South Africa play yeah. golf. Because yeah. I mean, we've got our Balls Golf Day coming up, and I thought, oh, it'd be great to get a lot of the racing drivers. Yeah. I, d- I didn't know. I, my apologies. Otherwise, we would have had you there. Thanks. Um, <laughs> no, no, no. We'll organize it. We'll, we'll kick somebody out. Hold on a second. No, oh, we'll <laughs> kick Darren out. It's fine. <laughs> um, it's very strange because it's one of those games that keeps you calm. Yeah. And it's something, you know, I think racing drivers could learn a lot from golf. Golf's definitely a mental game. I mean, obviously it takes, you know, the technique and the skills, but I think golf, you know, play a couple of bad shots and a, guy, a lot of guys get into the anger and start playing out of anger and then it goes downhill. So you've got to have a calm, collected, level head to play some golf, which is a similar to racing. Very, you see, I uh, should be a sports psychologist. <laughs> anyway. I'd go to you, Sash, I'll be honest. Thanks. Oh, uh, I don't know if I would. Um, your favorite course, the f- your well, in South Africa or in the world? Well, racing track. No, 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 golf, golf course. course. Oof. Um, I played at Fan Court. Uh, eh, eh, that's my home club. Oh, jeez. <laughs> George. Yeah. yeah. I lived in George for five years. Oh, gosh. She's now seen okay. the light. <laughs> Thank goodness for that. No, <laughs> I, I'd say uh, where I'd wa- really want to play is somewhere like St. Andrews. I think for in, in Scotland because obviously that's the home of golf and, and I think although with my game uh, the wind might not help me the wind is a big <laughs> factor in my golf game it's a lot I play with a nice high ball so I'm going to get in trouble for that but uh, I think somewhere like St. Andrews for sure um, some of the new Chinese courses that are being built those futuristic fantastic courses that are you Did know, you watch over the weekend? Yeah, World Golf I mean, How was that wow. golf course? I thought I was watching a PlayStation that's game That's what I'm saying you know, that, that's, It was mental I don't know how they do it but um, and your favorite golfer, you better have the correct answer because yeah. Sasha and I both agree on one golfer. Did you bet? No, no, no. We, we 
have one favorite. We have favorite. one favorite golfer. He's South African. He's very tall. Got to be Ernie Els. There yes. we go. Got Great yeah. answer. Yeah. <laughs> Brownie points. For that, you become the best ever uh, guest on the show. Oh, thanks. <laughs> no, <I> appreciate it. <laughs> okay, I love fashion. And sorry to ask you this because I know guys generally aren't into fashion. But what's your favorite clothing brand? Jeez, like. Um, Good but question. I've got to say, I enjoy Superga shoes. Nice. They're one of my sponsors. Um, <laughs> Good answer. <laughs> um, and uh, Superga's great. This is a tough one. You know, Italian, obviously. You know. Well, exactly. No. Superga. No. Superga. Superga. Um, I, I don't know. It's, Superga. Hello, it's tough. can I have some Superga? I've been, I've been shopping at Cotton On recently. You want some Superga? Got some nice Cotton stuff. On's nice. Oh, it's nice, a Superga. Nice, different fashion. Oh, yeah, um, summer's coming. Oh, Sash. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, so can. I'd say, you know, definitely some, you know, the fashion's changing a lot. You know, I think the 80s are coming back, if I'm honest. And you look at Europe and you look at New York and how things are coming through. So I think definitely, you know, it's cotton on, it's cool. Um, Top Man's coming out soon in Santa and that'll be a nice store to go to. Um, so yeah, but uh, obviously looking for endorsements from anyone else who wants to, so you know, then I'll promote. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good eye. That's a good place to punt everything. Gotta do. Hello. Okay, we're sitting with the F1 dude and car fanatic in SA. It's Mr. Sasha Martiningo. Mm. So please tell us what your favorite car is. Um, that I've driven? No, generally. If generally. you're your dream well, car. Generally. generally uh, yeah, take sponsorships out no, of the no, way. Sure. Those no, no, kind of things, I can't, yeah. You know, I'm not just going to be obliged and say. It has to be an Alfa Romeo. There we go. Good answer. <laughs> <laughs> no, honestly, and one of the cars that I've driven for sure is a McLaren. That MP4 12 dash 12 C yeah. is just it's just a machine and uh, chip, eh? it's you know and besides that it I mean I was at Kalami on Sunday and took it around a couple laps took some friends around with Daytona cars and that thanks night. for the invite again yeah. well I, I got invited so I can't pass on invites yeah, from yeah, 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 you know yeah, it's yeah. it's a supercar that it, it allows you to go and then at a point it'll say okay now I'm not gonna let you crash and that's I think the technology you know from McLaren built overseas I think is fantastic so amazing car it's it really is so I think that'll probably be favorite car Oscar Pistorius has just ordered one he's just ordered one a spider yeah. can you believe he's it eh? telling me yeah he's trying to they're trying to twist his leg into getting all sorts of fancy front bumpers and yeah no that should be coming next year so he's very excited about that he told me this morning he says he can't wait so. <laughs> okay your favorite song at the moment oh, um my God. I think I think it's it's got to be we don't sheesh, this is tough hero. No, 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 no. I, I think, you know, I'm, I'm very big into my music and my club tunes, but I've been listening to a lot of, like, deep tech, tech house these days and something nice and chill, but... Uh, oh. Okay, general answer, don't worry. General answer. Yeah. Commercial club tunes, David Guetta, maybe. Yeah, Shoo. David Guetta. Cool David Guetta is pretty good. Yes. Um, falling to Pieces, that's yeah. a good cool song. Yeah, we'll go with that. So. Okay, cool. Okay, last question. I don't know if you've got any more, Sash. You've traveled a bit through your motorsport. What's the best place you've visited and why? Definitely has to be, ooh, this is between Hockenheim and, um, and uh, Lenata, which is in, uh, by Lake Garda in Italy. Uh, that, no, this isn't it. that, that Excuse is, me. yeah, <laughs> that's where the World Cup champs were. This is like a debate. Yeah, so I think between, between you know, looks and, and, and actual beauty, it, it's got to be between Hockenheim and, and Italy because I mean the Lake Garda you must go then it's just it's just picturesque it's you know, beautiful it's fantastic beautiful. Okay, wait, beautiful. one more question where would you like to go that you haven't been to before Eva Green's house no uh, <laughs> oh you're not asking me no I'm just um, thinking aloud here I think somewhere I haven't been to Asia I haven't been to Asia so I'd love to go to Singapore I've heard a lot about Singapore. Singapore is awesome. Yeah, I've heard a lot about Singapore. And uh, so, I mean, I've been most around the world except for Asia and, and Australia. Australia, I'm not too keen about. It's just the Aussies. Very really far really, away. Yeah, they don't really appeal to me much. Really more. far away. Okay, so. thanks so much. Do you have any questions, Sash? No, 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 no. Just great to see Gennaro again. I'm looking forward to him to, uh, next year in the uh, uh, Audi again. Yeah. I think yeah. it's going to be a cracking season. Let's hope we can go yeah. for yeah. the I definitely want to go and watch yeah, a race. Yeah, you to Army. No, because no one, it, no one came oh. back to me about getting there yeah. and yeah. tickets and... Blame it's okay. Sasha. It's okay. Blame Good Sasha. question from Ernie Black, who is mm. uh, Ernesto Gogs on F1. Um, he said, "Would your guest consider moving to North America for a drive in NASCAR or Indy?" Ernesto, by the way, is from Can lives in Canada. Eh? Lives in Canada. And he writes brilliant poems. And he's got a poem no, for us. Gogs. Honestly, if you had I the chance, would, NASCAR. Hundred percent. Love NASCAR. You know what? It's it's beyond the actual racing. I think NASCAR. It's a complete show. And and I need to. I want to go and watch the Daytona 500 before I. Before I decease, 
um, for sure. Uh, and I would consider going there. We we had a the guys from APR were over here um, to rest, and they run a racing series in, in America, racing team. So hopefully, you know, go and test over there and see what it's. But at the end of the day, it's it's money. You know, it comes down to it's all sponsorships the sponsorships and budget. So well, we can only hope. But I first got to go to dinner with Dazi. That's the first <laughs> thing that's got to happen. Okay, we can Whoa. plan that. We can plan How's that. that eh? Only if you pick me up. Though. How's four? No, there? you the driver. You can pick me exactly. up. I've got to judge your skills. <laughs> <laughs> you can judge my skills. On All the right, children, <laughs> get a freaking roof. Yeah, <laughs> that's enough. Oh, cool. Very good. Okay, no. so there we go. That's awesome. it. Lovely, Janara. Have to be a here. Yeah. And uh, if we don't see you before the end of the year, be safe. Enjoy your travels. Good luck for the exams. Huh? We'll do. Thanks very much. And have awesome. A good time. Nice there to we see go. You guys again. Great day. Dizzy Double D's the dude today. Gennaro Bonafidi. Gears on bulls.co.za with Sasha Martinengo. He's kept himself out of trouble. Weekdays from 12 to 2 p.m. Central African time.